Gender reveal parties are extremely stupid. Now, here's the thing, okay? I guarantee you, most of you that are watching this probably don't even need to hear this from me. Probably in the back of your mind, you already know that, uh, more than likely, most people, at least 99% of people, especially when it comes to the internet, and definitely within your own family, probably genuinely don't even care what the gender of your baby actually is. Honestly, setting up an entire party just, you know, surrounding, revealing the gender of your, you know, upcoming child is just genuinely a very, very stupid idea, and more than likely the people that are there are only there just so that way you don't feel too bad about spending so much money doing absolutely nothing at the end of the day. The thing is, is that there seems to be a very in interesting trend when it actually comes to gender reveal parties. Matter of fact, a study was actually done on the likelihood of people actually dying in these gender reveal parties, and apparently you're more likely to die in a gender reveal party than I think, like, you are to die from, like, getting struck by lightning or something like that. I might need to check up on what the actual statistic is, but basically you're more likely to die in a gender reveal party than, you know, a lot of other things that originally were probably more likely to kill you than a literal useless party. That's only because for some unknown reason there seems to be this really, really... I... <sighs> This extremely dumb trend of idiots going out of their way to try and, you know, do these really, really stupid things just because they think that people actually care about what gender their upcoming child is. I genuinely don't even know, like, why they would do this, but apparently they're doing this, and all I can really say is... Stop. We already know that last year there was the entire Californian wildfires that ended up, you know, uh, that uh, people ended up finding out that it was actually started by a gender reveal party. Uh, honestly, at this point, I don't think there's really anything that can really top that. Like, the amount of stupidity that must have went into that one is just so absolutely immense that the only way that someone could possibly top, top that is if they somehow managed to break into the United States nuclear freaking missile silos and, like, detonate a freaking nuke filled with, like, blue or pink powder or something like that. That's literally the only way that they could possibly one-up that. But apparently, very recently, there was actually a, an extremely stupid, completely moronic family that wanted to try and get the closest thing to an actual atom bomb. They decided to set off 80 pounds of Tannerite. The thing is, is that explosive materials, they're extremely, well, they're extremely volatile. I mean, they're just like, you don't mess with them, you don't play with them. Just, you know, doing anything like that is just a generally very dumb idea. Just, you know, don't mess with explosives, all right? Like, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with them. Don't even buy them in the first place. But here's the thing. Apparently these idiots, you know, apparently not even thinking about the safety of anyone else around them. They only cared about, you know, uh, revealing their baby's gender to uh, the people that cared and the people that asked. Which, honestly, I've tried looking around. I've looked through every single existing universe. And I've still yet to find a single person that genuinely cares about the gender of an upcoming child. They decided to set off 80 pounds of Tannerite to reveal this baby's gender, and this explosion ended up causing a freaking earthquake that rattled, like, it, that ended up rattling, like, the extent of, like, two states. People were, you know, reporting in that, <laughs> that, like, you know, pictures were flying off the walls, their houses, foundations were cracking, like, th these people legitimately wanted to try and cause an earthquake just so that way they could reveal their baby's gender. Uh, I don't even know what the b gender of the baby was. I guarantee you more than likely no one actually does, nor does anyone care. All they really care about is finding these idiots. And they actually did, and they're actually going to, you know, they're, they're actually going to prison for this because, well, I guarantee you, buy, buying 80 pounds of explosives is probably illegal unless you have a license for it. And, you know, actually doing something like this just for a very stupid reason is probably something to actually get any sort of explosives license revoked from you if you even have one. Like, if you're going to be a complete idiot, then you better be prepared to actually deal with the consequences of what you actually end up doing especially something like this all right but anyways guys that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video please consider leving a like that's very well appreciated leave a comment down below what you thought about the video what you wanted to talk about next and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more content like this also go ahead and follow me on twitter i'll put the handle right here um i don't do extremely stupid things like this i laugh at stupid things like this and uh anyways guys this has been sanity Ugh. and have yourselves a nice day Sometime, la da 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 da.
の瞬間が宝物君たちと私いつまでも今日も生きてよかった